Hello, and welcome to Old Scary World. Tonight we're going to be looking at something that was discovered by a friend of mine on Instagram, Blackbird X Terrain, and we talked about it, and he's comfortable with me reinterpreting his discovery, which is of Hercules powder. Now, Hercules powder was a explosives company that existed since the 1800s, and it's through his discovery and my understanding and it really resonated with me because when this old world research started it was always wondered how they were able to get rid of the let's say undesirable things and what better than to blow it up so we have here all this stuff about fires and all this other stuff we know that these people were using essentially uh, TNT. Now, let's go back here to the logo. And it's interesting that they would use Hercules, because what did Hercules do? Hercules slew giants, That's according to the mythology. And we see here he's got a tail, he's got his club, he's got his bear hat or something like that. It's it's very occult. It's very pagan. Okay, it's very um, old world, for lack of a better term. I just move on here a little bit. Now, the other interesting thing is, is that Blackbird said that when he was a kid, he would have dreams of these boxes. And we all know that TNT comes in boxes. And it's my understanding that they were using these to get rid of certain things and also to uncover certain things but we'll get into that later I just found it very fascinating here okay and as we go along we're gonna see more evidence of that okay and the other thing when we talk about the Americas and the old world is there's these remnants here okay and we can clearly see a bird's beak like an eagle or a vulture or something like that possibly even a phoenix carved into the side of mountains and other evidence like that okay here we have clearly horned things here now what i think is that they were not just using the tnt the dynamite to destroy things and to create their new world in the old world but also to uncover things in other words, they would blow things up and then use that to discover things. And when they would discover things, they would leave them in place because that's where the power resides. That's where the, the dark energy, see, they had to uncover these things, not to hide them away always, but to put them on display, to remind people of who was in control now, who was inheriting this, okay? So when they discovered things that were ancient, that were of the old world, that had a certain residence, they, they didn't destroy it. They, that was their job, was to preserve it, okay? Things like this, okay? They're not going to get rid of something like that. They're gonna let everybody see it as kind of a flex, as kind of a power move, okay? Here we have a truck that was owned by the Hercules. Now, I think that they were going around and they were supplying these inheritors, these uh, these new controllers. Two different things, by the way, but that's a separate video. And they were supplying them with the tools, with the with the materials to destroy certain parts of the old world to build the essential parts of the new world within the old world. It's all very confusing on purpose. Okay, here we can see in an advertisement. Okay. Mother Earth has been kind to our country. See, that's that earth worship thing again. With lavish hand, she has bestowed upon us mineral wealth, 
Our industrial strength springs from the gift of hers, and our military strength is dependent on it. Our ships, our railroads, our great steel mills, iron foundries, our mammoth buildings are all born in our minds. It is so to our original source of iron, copper, zinc, lead, coal, and other minerals that we owe our eminent position among the nations. The Hercules Powder Company creates the forces that tear these minerals from the imprisoning rock and earth. By far the major portion of our output of explosives has for years been used by the miners of this country and the miners of the countries that are providing a great part of the sinews of war which ultimately bring us victory. Okay, now let's think about that a little bit. Okay, and then we got this guy. Okay, he's supposed to be like Hercules maybe. And he's holding up the whole weight of the thing. I got the chains and we got the steam locomotive and we got the Tartarian looking buildings back here and we got the gears of war and then we got this here. Okay, so what they're what they're admitting is that they were they were stripping away the mineral they were exploiting all that stuff to create the new world okay which is cool but just let's be honest about it. and they are here here's a, a moment of honesty and symbolism okay they're saying they came and they they built upon the old world okay this is like this is really this is really interesting to me this is the kind of stuff that i keep researching for to find like this is this is actually interesting to me. Okay, then we got Hercules again here. Okay, as we saw before. All right, see, they were a lot more, like, in some ways, they were a lot more, like, honest back then and blatant about it because people weren't looking into it. They are just, okay. And we see this is the kind of stuff they would do. They're just blowing up the sides of mountains and stuff like that, looking for stuff, looking for more minerals, looking for remnants. Okay, they were just as curious. They were, they, were, they were trying to see what was here. Okay, and this is 1905. It's like August 16th. Okay, just blowing stuff up, which is cool. You know, like, let's be honest. Like, you know, they, they were doing their thing. Okay, and here's proof. Okay. And, you know, occasionally things would go awry and there would be these quote-unquote disasters, but it was just an excuse to get in deeper you know cover things up see you have a accident like this and then you can do whatever you want and everybody will just think that you're cleaning up the accident what you're doing is you're you're digging deeper you're, you're testing out new stuff doing all kinds of stuff okay right, here's another one here and they got this like uh stegosaurus looking thing or whatever cover story okay we all know that these are just these are just beasts of the old earth. They call them dinosaurs, but we, we, all, we all know what's really going on. Okay. And they're taking the coal, and then they use the coal to make the TNT. And also to get to the, the coal mines, you know. Um, they would use, you know, and that's just, that's just getting into the inner earth. That's just getting into the lost earth. Okay. So the symbolism there again. Okay, and then here's another good one here. As big as Manhattan Island. Okay. This is kind of like pixelated, but we'll see the best we can do. Imagine a power, imagine a powder plant as big as Manhattan Island, the heart of New York City and the home of nearly 3 million people. 20 Panama Pacific expositions could be conducted at one time. See, there, there it is again with the old world, the World's Fair reference there the expositions panama pacific Expo exposition could be conducted at one time without crowding on the ground occupied by such a plant it could easily hold 10 parks the size of forest park st louis as large a building as the coliseum in chicago would appear a mere detail in the landscape yet such a plant as this a plant covering slightly more ground than manhattan island would be formed if the great Hercules properties scattered from the Atlantic to the Pacific 
were combined in one. So, uh, see, these guys were producing a lot of material. Okay, they're blowing a lot of stuff up. Um, we're combining one large of the complete plant may be seen a size none too great to meet the demands in which the industrial life of the nation puts upon it from the from it come explosives which would is mined more than half of the copper produced by the country from it came explosives which play a vital part in placing in the nation's disposal of such essential minerals and metals as coal iron aluminum silver gold and the less well-known manganese and chromium chrome chrome ores i was kind of cut off there a little bit from it come explosives tried extensively in the building of our railroads our aqueducts the improvement of our harbors and other large construction work finally from it comes explosives which are which our boys over there are using so effectively to win the war. Okay, so they were creating munitions as well, not just for mining and and demolition, but also for the war effort. So using black powder and stuff like that. So I just think that's a weird reference because we know the history with Manhattan Island, the, the old world and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, it's just a strange kind of thing here. So then say they have, well, they're not around anymore conveniently they're not in business anymore but at the time i think this was kind of during their peak probably in like you know the 40s or something they had chicago denver uh somewhere in pennsylvania joplin uh looks like pittsburgh something kentucky pittsburgh pennsylvania memphis new york salt lake city san francisco st louis and wilmington delaware okay so there's obviously some key cities in the Tartarian world there, okay, like San Francisco, St. Louis, Chicago. I just thought it was really interesting. I might have to do a little bit more research, but I was just really excited about this. And I'm going to leave a link to uh, Blackbird's Instagram in the description. And so anyways, moving on. They had to blow up these types of things to make passages, to find all kinds of stuff. I mean, they were just going willy-nilly with it. I mean, nobody was going to stop them. Who was going to stop them? You know, and one could argue who should have. I mean, they were they were the ones doing it. They were they were taking control of it. And for better or worse, it's just history. I try not to get too involved in the politics of it. In the end, it's just history. And we don't really know what was going on. All we know is a lot of stuff was getting destroyed but a lot of stuff was getting discovered possibly at the same time. And it, in, in the end, it really is just what it is. We don't know for sure. We're all just kind of piecing it together. But I thought that this Hercules company was worth looking into. Might have to look into it a little bit more. Um, you know, and I think that they were discovering things like this. You know, imagine they're they're destroying things or they're blowing things up, whatever they're dismantling you know the sides of mountains and then they come across something like this and then they save it they, they leave it alone they say okay hold on like we don't want to necessarily destroy this and we see that i mean think about it. why didn't they just destroy all the building why because they wanted to use them they they saw the intrinsic value they saw the power that was emanating from them both physically and and, and um philosophically and all that kind of stuff okay so who knows what they were finding down there all right. When they went into the mines to get the coal, to get the gold, to get the silver, what else were they finding? Okay. It's almost like I'm, I'm tired of messing around. Like we know that they were blowing things up to find things. They were trying to discover things. They were being very destructive kind of archeologists or explorers. And then when they found out the truth, they hid it from us. Okay, but the key thing here is we have giants in the old world, we have giants in the Americas, according to history, and Hercules slayed giants. Right? Hercules slaying the giants, Hercules powder. 
California Powder Works, manufacturers of sporting, cannon, mining, blasting, and Hercules powder. See, so Hercules powder was a specific powder. Okay. And then it became so popular that the company... Okay, but before it was the California Powder Works. Manufacturers of Hercules powder in all caps. Okay. 230 California Street, San Francisco, California. This is the early advertising, you can tell by the typeface and so forth. It's probably like the late 1800s or something. Okay, so like, you know, let's just like get serious here and uh, and look into this a little bit. So uh, I'm gonna keep it kind of short. I just wanna kind of put the feelers out on this. Let me know in the comments what you think. But obviously to to build a new old world or to build upon the old world, there had to have been players in the game. There had to have been, you know, and like, let's just try to figure it out. Let's just like look into this a little bit. I will, and uh, hopefully you guys will too, and uh, it should be fun. And uh, once again, shout out to Blackbird, and uh, I'll leave a link to his Instagram in the description. All right, as always, thank you for watching. Goodbye.